Welcome to Had a Magical Day, the podcast about Disney parks that's like taking a vacation in the middle of your day. Hello and welcome to another episode of Had a Magical Day. I'm your host, Scott Otto, and today we're joined by Jer Palapal, our friend and a local comedian in Boston, and also has traveled around New England and other places doing comedy. And he's going to tell us about a trip he took in March of 2017 at the Disney Sea in Japan. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you, Jer? I'm doing all right, yeah. Thank you for being on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, uh, tell us a little bit about what Disney Sea is about. Like, it's a little different from the parks. It's not a park, necessarily. It's more of a... What is it? Well, it is a park. It, oh, it is. is. Yeah, it is. I think, um, initially, uh, I, I went there with my sister. Uh, okay. We went to Japan together. And I think we kind of expected more of a Sea World or, like, a an aquarium thing mm -hmm. but it really is like just a disney park and it's yeah it's very okay nice, yeah. great so give me a little a bit of a backstory so you and your sister went yes now you it was your first time at disney sea yes I take it. Yeah. yeah but you've been to other disney right places so what was like your history with with disney growing up um well i love disney movies mm -hmm. uh, even as an adult um so what were some of your favorites let's see uh beauty and the beast little mermaid mm -hmm. uh all the pixar ones obviously yeah. um let's see They've been on a pretty hot run with like uh, Frozen and uh, uh, like uh, Wreck-It Ralph and whatever. Yeah, lately. Incredibles. So, and that, yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, been enjoying those a lot, and I don't think I've been to a Disney park since I was at most fourteen, mm -hmm. um, probably younger, really. But um, yeah, down in like uh, Disney World or right. Yeah. So. So what made what caught your eye about Disney Sea? Uh, uh, I was planning this trip to Japan for a long time, and a friend uh, suggested that that was like the best Disney park in the world. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Well, we got to go to that." And uh, it turns out, uh, well, my sister's a dancer, and she had a friend who, I think at the time, worked at Disney. See, uh, she played Ariel in their Little Mermaid show. So, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So that like sealed it for us. We were like, "Well, we have to go to this." So that was. Uh, thinking cool now this is different from tokyo disney right this is yes a different, this is a yeah different park. Yep. yep so it was a different part of this okay yeah. so japan's a pretty big trip so yes. was there like a lot of preparation were you a lot of excitement getting ready to go on this this trip a lot of excitement not a lot of preparation <laughs> um like i my main thing was there was a wrestling show that i wanted to go to mm -hmm. so i was like that was like a, was this like sumo or is this a pro, pro, pro wrestling, wrestling? Okay. yeah uh so i it was like a monday that we were going out of our 10 day trip. So I was like, that's the day that that's happening. And I told my sister, like, what else you want to do? We'll do whatever else, you know, I'm along for whatever she wants. Uh, well, I'm going to a lot of animal cafes, uh, just hanging out with cats and, uh, hedgehogs and snakes at one point. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of fun. So these are cafes where people can bring their animals. Or uh, just no, animals they just around. have the animals there. You uh, can, like hang out with them. You get like some coffee and, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun and did some shopping uh she like took some dance classes while she was over there and i used the time to you know walk around uh i did some shows some comedy shows while i was there oh really uh, yeah that must have been interesting well, yeah how was that how it was, was good it's like uh there's a pretty decent like expat community over there mm -hmm. so it's not like a you know it's, it's english speaking which helps a lot um and yeah those are a lot of fun um and that was really most of what we did mm -hmm. so so leading up to your, you're going to Disney Sea now. Yes. Um, is it near where you're staying? Do you have to like take a, a car or a bus or something to uh, get we, there? We did have to take a train. I I feel like it must have been like an hour out, which wasn't mm -hmm. too bad. Um, especially to get to the wrestling show, it was like a two hour bullet train, like mm -hmm. well out into like nowhere uh, compared to Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, an hour wasn't too bad. The problem was that I didn't plan ahead too well. And I didn't, uh, I didn't tell my bank that I was going to Japan. And so I just brought a bunch of cash. And then that bullet train to that, uh, to the wrestling show, spent, like, ate up a lot of my money. So by the time we got to Disney Sea, it was like our second to last day there, and I was dead broke. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good thing to be at a Disney, <laughs> yes. Disney yeah. park. Yeah. yeah, pretty much like for like, maybe even like two days before that, it was just like, if I needed something, I would just Venmo my sister, like, a hundred bucks hmm. and then she'd like go to an ATM and get money for me. Now, did you already have your ticket for the park? Uh, the... No. Oh, okay. But the nice thing about uh, this Disney park is that it's 
I don't know. Do you know what the normal price for a Disney park in America is? They they keep raising. They just yeah. raise the shit. It's like a hundred something yes. for yeah. like the basic ticket, and then more for park hopper or whatever. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So like for this one, it's cheap. It was like I would say at most it was like forty bucks American, mm-hmm. which I think uh, like that's one of the things that uh, struck me about it was because um, like at Disney Park in America, there's a lot of families cloistered together. Mm-hmm. Right here, it's like or in Japan, it was like a kind of thing that like teens would just go to on a weekend just on a whim like oh you might go to disney uh-huh. so like so what was it like when you're on the train and you're, you're getting there you don't yeah. really know what it's going to be like when you get yes, there right? right so you finally pull in there and you start to approach the park what does it look like what's kind of going oh. through your mind as you as you, you go get there it is it's beautiful i mean uh-huh. they just do such a great job with like the aesthetics of it there's like you know giant fountains and all these uh um very detailed scenery mm-hmm. is this like in the parking lot or just as just you in the get parking to, yeah. lot getting there you know up to the ticket booth um like it was enough that we were like oh man uh this is gonna be a lot of fun like we're both dead broke but like <laughs> as long as we can get in it's gonna be like really good and uh yeah so like the first thing we see is the uh ticket booth which is like very the very nautical themed uh park like a lot mm-hmm. of uh yeah. Uh, is it not a theme like with the Disney characters? Or is it like a lot of the... Just like... Uh, I don't think no. a lot of Disney characters really. Uh, no, not that I remember. Just more natural? Yeah. Kind of, just like yeah. a very, you know, a lot of like pirate ship wheels and things uh, like, you know. And uh, yeah, it was very exciting because I, I mean, that was something we'd been looking forward to the whole trip. All, you know, uh, seven previous days uh, up to just waiting for that like last thing to mm-hmm. do before we leave so so you get your ticket you go through so what's it like after you get through the ticket booth what's uh there's like a big uh sort of lobby area like a big hub area mm-hmm. with like a giant fountain in the middle and some characters roaming around and you know uh maps and things that you can like look at is there like a centerpiece to the park that you can see from there when you get in or? yes uh once you get into the actual park past the hub there's like a giant lake with like a lot of fountains and stuff and that's where um at the end of the day there's a big you know lights and fireworks show that they do which uh yeah i'll get to i guess later um but the first thing like we saw i think we looked at the map and tried to figure out the best path and we started out with a toy story uh Mm -hmm. ride ride game thing that was a lot of fun like one of those where you have to shoot targets yes yeah um have you been to that? I think they had it in, like, Florida. Yeah, they have, yes. they have a couple. In, in <laughs> yes, World, yeah. yeah. So, like, it was... I've heard that it's the same in Florida, but, like... Mm-hmm. I mean, I haven't been to a Disney park since I was, like, you know, a teen at most. So, like, everything is just, like, amazing <laughs> to me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's just, like, Japan in specifically or if it's, like, all of the parks, but everything's, like, uh, clean and bright and beautiful. And, like, I love, like I said, the Pixar movies. So seeing all these, like figures of, like, Toy Story characters and, uh, like, a recreation of, like, Andy's room from Toy Story, but, like, uh, you know, where you're, like, tiny and like, everything's huge, like, just going in line is just... Was that amazing. part of the, the line experience? Yeah. The, the Andy's room? Yeah. Yep, we're just, like, going through and there's, like, all these little, like, Easter eggs for people who've seen the movies and are fans of it. Um, yeah, I was, like, blown away and it's... It's weird to be there because, like I said, it's a lot of teens. So, like, I'm like in line, and my I'm like pulling my sister's sleeve like every second. Like, oh my god, look at that! It's a Wheezy the Penguin. And then, like, next to us, there's just a bunch of like teens just playing like Nintendo games on there. I think because they probably just go there every weekend or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> lines weren't too long compared to. Um, uh, not they were kind of long. No. Uh, I will say that because the Toy Story ride is usually very popular. Yes, at, yeah, at, that was like yeah. I want to say. That was like a two or three hour wait okay. immediately when we get there. But uh, like, I mean, we didn't pay for the fast pass or anything, but mm-hmm. we could have if we had the money, but I don't think we would have. It was just still like fun to just, they do make it fun to wait in line with all the things you can look at and stuff. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah. They have mastered that art yes, of, of yeah. making lines interesting. Yeah. They know how long you're <laughs> going to be there. I mean, they say the estimate, we were like, is this going to be worth three hours? And it was, mm-hmm. we had a lot of fun. Uh, playing that like shooting game that they, you know, you ride up on. Yeah, which I don't even remember very well, but like <laughs> I just remember having fun with it and uh, getting a higher score than my sister. 
That's sure. always good. Yeah, always... exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's good for the rest of the trip. Yes. Yeah. Um, did they have fast passes there? Did yeah, they, they did. Like, they but did. not for that ride. Um, like the... We didn't pay for them, so like we wouldn't have the option. But like, I think if you or if you, you did pay have... for the fast passes, then I think. So. Oh no, no, you didn't. Yeah, you have to get there super early. I think right. The They're probably out for those. Yes. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, and we right. were like you have to plan ahead for those. Yeah, yeah, we were like, I don't know how long we were flying by the seat of our pants for most of the trip. So mm-hmm. it was like, yeah, we'll get up at like. We'll try to get up and get there in time for it, but you know, we got to we wound up uh, going to like a convenience store to get food or something like that, and that probably ate up some time that we would have needed mm-hmm. to get our fast pass. So we didn't uh, get those. We just waited, waited in line like a bunch of schmucks. But you know, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> we anyway. all have to do it at some point. Yeah. Uh, totally. So what after Toy Story? What did you What did you guys do? Let's see. We walked around a bit. Um, our next Our next priority was. Uh, my my sister's friend at the Little Mermaid thing, so we went to like their Little Mermaid sea based mm-hmm. world in the sea park, I guess. But like, it's uh, which was also beautiful, finely detailed. Like you go into this like kind of cavern, and there's just like the whole uh, Atlantis or whatever they call the Little Mermaid world, where like there's a uh, little teacup rides that look like seashells and. There's just a big palace for um, Ariel's dad, or you know, and there was a. Let's see, we had a. So did your sister love that? It was more for her thing? Did she love that? Did oh, I. That her favorite thing. Or? Uh no, she wanted she wanted to go because her friend was a dancer. Oh, the, yeah, she, yeah, 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 right. So like, um, I mean, I was down for anything, hmm. and uh, spoiler alert, she left the park earlier than I did, but. <laughs> um, so like we went there and there was like a, yeah there was like a, a raft ride that we did for a little while that was a lot of fun that was a much shorter ride but it was you control the raft a little bit and it's kind of a fun kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we went to is the, it like one of those like a circular raft or yes yeah. I think so from what I remember yeah is it one of those like with rapids are you getting wet when you're doing this not too wet no yeah. yeah which thankfully we didn't have any bathing suits or anything but mm-hmm. yeah so that was like a quick like little detour um, but then we went to the Little Mermaid. Uh, show which was very short. We didn't actually see my friend's sister, oh, my sister's friend, because uh, I think she was like, My show is at like 2.45 or 4.45, and like we didn't realize that the line for that was like five minutes. Like there's a show every <laughs> every three minutes, something like that. We just bolted in and just got out, and it was a lot of fun. Like we weren't allowed to take pictures, but I couldn't resist. Uh, stuck some in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just this giant cavern where like uh there's a lot of singing and you know Are they doing yeah. numbers from the, the movie? Yeah. I think they yeah. some from the movie, some like originals for mm-hmm. the parks, I guess. Um Ariel in that show is a human who's uh or played by you. <laughs> She's a mermaid. And uh <laughs> like on uh strings doing like acrobatic uh stuff like overhead oh, okay it's really like yeah. but my sister was disappointed because she was like my friend's more talented than that <laughs> like they're just underusing her or whatever but like, i was like this is amazing <laughs> like, there's a the giant puppets uh oh, a little bit of Cirque du soleil yeah uh, yeah so of, yes yeah. yeah that's a big comparison like the, the uh, ariel's father the king is like 50 uh, 50 feet tall animatronic thing that's crazy yeah um so we did that, and that was a lot of fun. We tried to stay around there for a while because, like, there was just such a. I think that's kind of the center of the park in some ways in terms of exhibits. Mm. Uh, just like the way it's just so colorful and detailed. You have to go into this cavern area that's like just like another world, and it really feels that way. Uh, and got us excited. And then after that, we kind of just. Like, well, what else can we do, you know, while we're here? And the next thing we saw was uh, an Aladdin-themed kind of thing uh, where, honestly, we were kind of just looking for, like, bathrooms and stuff at that point. But there was a, like, it was, I think it advertised as, like, a magic show of some kind. And I use that with air quotes. Uh, but it turned out to be, like, a pretty cool thing. Like, in line, there was uh, a neat thing where there was like a giant vase and then if you watch it long enough like a animatronic snake would come out and like say some things and then go down into it and it was like oh that was cool and the magic show was um 
kind of a visual trick. I don't think you needed 3D glasses, but it was still kind of 3D in its own way, which is kind of like a hologram thing. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, just a human playing some, like, uh, hapless, uh, like, thief who steals the genie's bottle, and then, obviously, the genie comes out, and a pretty good robber, a Robin Williams impersonation <laughs> happens, and, like, objects go at you and things, and just, it's a lot of, that was a lot of fun. And, uh, I think after that was when my sister was like, I'm tired and we're, we've got like two more days in Japan. I'm going to go like home and whatever. Now, what time was that roughly? Like how long have you been at the park at that point? At that point, it must have been like four or 5 p.m. Like it was getting to dinner time. And I think at that point, all the food was uh, too expensive. We did splurge on a couple dessert things. They had uh, these little bean, these neat little like uh, uh, bean uh, dumpling kind of things that were shaped like the aliens from Toy Story, like three eyes, the, uh -huh. the green aliens with the three eyes. That was kind of cute. We had, couldn't resist that. <laughs> uh, they had tiramisu ice cream bars that I was like, well, I'm going to get that too. And, How uh, was that? Oh, that was delicious. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. I don't know if uh, they have that all the parks or just that one. but I think that just there. Yeah. At least I haven't encountered yeah, it. Yeah, it was so. incredible. I was like, well, that sounds amazing. Uh, and then I also... Like got money from my sister to buy. Um, they had these uh, jar, like kind of cookie jar kind of things that are like filled with popcorn. You just flip them open, but they were like shaped after characters, and they had like a different character at all these different stops throughout the park. We just kept seeing these like kids with them. We were like, these are those are really cute. Like I want one. I can't afford one, but I want one. And I eventually <laughs> convinced my sister to give me money for one, and uh, really it came down to like us agreeing that the one shaped like Lilo was very cute. Um, but I wanted one that was specific to Japan. And they had one that was like a teddy bear named Duffy. Okay. Yeah. yeah a... Which, uh, the last thing I did at the park was uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth ride, which was like a three and a half hour like sit in line alone now, at that point so I was just reading tell about, us about this is kind of a unique ride this, this, yeah. they don't have this other, other places yeah so. it's uh it's wild is this like the highlight of the trip for you you think this, uh, this ride or I came away feeling like it wasn't worth like that three hours away <laughs> yeah it was not worth that way unlike the Toy Story ride which to be fair beginning of the day you're like oh I'm yeah. amped and like right. this is, everything's amazing but then by the end I'm like I spent like three hours alone in line reading about this teddy bear uh, <laughs> that I had from like my popcorn and just eating that for dinner basically and uh, just sitting in line and like a lot of like they, they they tried to make it interesting you're like in an underground so, you know good to explain the, the ride yeah. a little bit though, so. well okay the, the line there is just like an underground you're on obviously you're on your way to the center of the earth mm. you're going down and then there's like all these exhibits of like previous excavations like, you'll find, like, a helmet or something like that, and it's, like, there's, like, a little historical blurb about that or, like, a giant fake drill going down there. Then you get to the ride um, after several hours of, like, well, I'm, <laughs> oh, I've turned this corner. This has to be the end of the line. Oh, wait, no, there's still another 300 feet <laughs> to go. But um, you get to this ride, and it's like you're in a miniature submarine, on your own and it jostles and flips over and like there's a screen in front of you where like you see all these underwater things like a uh, giant fish enormous squid whatever and then uh they do a really good job of recreating like a water type feeling i think there must be a screen Hmm. Uh, or like some water kind of thing in between. The so, screens. what's the water that you're supposed to be hitting if you're going to the center of the earth? I don't understand yeah. it. I, okay. It's been a long time since I've read that novel, uh. um, and if even then, it probably was like an abridged child's version, really. Mm -hmm. But like, you're just. I think. I think the idea is that you go so deep into the earth that you wind up in another world or something like that, or in an ocean, and then things kind of go haywire, and you're like, ah, "Am I gonna make it out alive?" And then. Uh, you know, you're attacked by a giant squid, mm. and then you wind up uh, safe and sound back in Disney, where <laughs> everything is wonderful. <laughs> now, is this uh, like a simulation ride? Yeah. Like the Star bit. Tours, where you're kind of in a pod, and they yes. yeah, something and on the screen, and it yeah. you around. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
I think very... there's. It seems to move a little bit on its own track. There's like a uh, screen in front of you, I think, and some, you know, it's for some like special effects or whatever. Okay. From what I remember, yeah. Yeah, pretty neat. So there used to be an old ride at uh, Disney World called the Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. Yes. You're getting a submarine. You'd yeah move around and stuff. Actually, that's... I think that's what I'm thinking of. Like, yeah, but. Oh, same idea, yeah. Yeah, I think it's the same idea. It sounds right. it was like more updated there. Yes, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. There's, there's a lot of high-tech. I think I remember that from when I was like a child. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that was the that was the last ride I did at the park. And from that point, I was just like, uh, well, I want to be here as long as possible because everything's wonderful and I haven't seen everything. Like, I walked past, uh, I don't know what movie this would be based on, but there was like a Mayan temple-based area in the park uh-huh. where I don't think i wanted to see anything there but i just walked around there's like a lot of uh, fire and uh just some really impressive architecture going on there uh just winding my way back through park to the park that i hadn't been to before mm. and then at some point i was like well i'm here near closing time uh so i might as well watch their like fireworks yeah their big fireworks display and it was just like uh a lot of it i didn't get to see a lot of it because uh, there was just a lot of crowds and i'm not very tall but it was just in this, like, in the central lake area, there's a lot of boats. You got Disney, uh, you got Mickey with his magic wand from the Fantasia thing. Okay, like, yeah, he's making, a sorcerer. Yeah, yes. making water spout up and, like, lights, like, uh, appearing off of them and fireworks and it's just, uh, really a great way to end the day. Then I texted my sister that, hey, I'm on my way back to the, uh, Airbnb. And uh, we wound up meeting, uh, I, I had a friend living out there. We met up with him a couple times throughout the trip, but uh, this time we met him one last time uh, to go to Denny's <laughs> near us. Uh, if you're ever in Japan, I do recommend the Denny. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> so, All right, that sounds like a great day. Yeah. Thank you for best. sharing that. Thanks, uh, just yeah. again on the, uh, where in Japan is the Disney Sea? Uh, it's near Tokyo. I don't know. It's exactly. near Tokyo. Yeah. Like, so I you mean, said it was like an hour away yeah, by train. Yeah. All right, well, super. Thanks a lot for sharing that. I yeah. appreciate having you on the show. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having me on. Yeah.